Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Johnson. I'm here today to help to share some very special information. You're at this wonderful camp and we're here to study food. We're here to study our health. We're here to understand how to grow things. We're going to be using gardens. We're going to be exploring physical activity. We're going to be exploring how we breathe, how we shift, how we move. How we, we work together as a team to grow and to, to become more full of life. And as we explore life, we explore awareness, a few things that are very, very important is we get to explore motion, we get to explore movement, we get to explore breathing. Breathing, as we breathe, we get to live more. As we move, we get to, to notice more, we get to see more, we get to be further engaged in the world that I would like to, to share with you from our friend, the tree. Our friends, the tree. We're going to be doing many, many different things. Exploring food, exploring nature, exploring growth. And if we want to be very healthy and very vibrant, to learn from these things. If we look at our tree, our tree here, it grows upwards, it grows outwards, it grows towards the light. We look at our tree, the upper parts, they're very loose, they're flexible, they're soft, they're, uh, they're very pliable, they move a lot. As we get further down, this, this uh, oh, something that you do not see right away, something that's inside the pot, is that this tree has roots. This tree not only grows up towards the sky, up towards the sun, it also grows deeper. There's a central piece to the tree. And it has a center that is between above and below. As we explore nature, and as we explore all the wonderful things in this camp, it's very important to understand that we're learning from nature. And in everything that we learn, there's going to be, there's going to be differences in the things that we learn. Some activities are going to be very busy and very fun and active, and we're going to run and we're going to play. Some other activities are going to be their opposite. They're going to be slow. They're going to be quiet. Sometimes we're going to be outside of ourselves. Other times we're going to come back in. Sometimes we want to engage our hands and our feet. Sometimes we want to get back into our center. And we want to live and breathe. So in everything that we do, sometimes even the days might be very, very hot. But if we go into a gym, if we go into a different building, with the, with the air conditioning, it might be sort of cold. And so there's many different ways of looking at everything, but to find, to know that everything can be an opposite, as is modeled by our friend the tree, and to know that we have an opportunity to find some balance. 